Years ago, we did it at the Big Kahuna. We did one at Blue Rock Stadium, and it generated over 1,500 people. So we knew that the venue was would be one of the strongest in the region. Uh, at the time, uh, Mike Buzicki runs the Riverfront. Mike, I think they were doing different kind of events, and, and, and at that time, sporting events weren't really fit for what they were looking at doing for marketing and things like that. So we we understood. So yeah, we waited our time, and and and, uh, and then most recently, when Mayor Williams uh, uh, was voted in. He, he had a, he loves boxing, but he also he wanted different creative ideas that he thought would would generate the kind of audiences that they need at the riverfront now. Uh, and of course, boxing happens to be one of those uh, things that he enjoyed that that matched how I felt that I think would be a great uh, uh, a great tourist attraction uh, and and a great economic boom to the city. And that's how it came about was uh, Mike Mike Pizicki, uh looking at the box and saying, yeah, this could be a good time. And, uh, and then Mayor Williams, who just grabbed onto this and wouldn't let go of it. And uh, he and I went arm in arm with, with Mike and made it happen. We looked in the north here, and to find a venue, uh, besides like the Bob Carpenter Center that seats a lot of people, a two to 3,000 seat venue is what's really needed for the kind of fights we were looking at. Champs Management, uh, made up of John Sobieski, George Beer, Kevin Wilson, and Frank Vasella, have just been phenomenal. They looked at the business model first, which really has to happen. We as promoters or fighters or trainers always look, at, let's just do it. And then you start looking at dollars and cents, and it doesn't make sense. If you don't have TV, you don't have a casino to fund it, it's very hard to do. So the business model really worked at the riverfront because we looked at the demographics in the market, and we saw what Dover Downs did. We said, wait a minute, if Dover Downs is attract, attracting the best fighters, not only regionally, but nationally, uh, off I-95, there is no doubt between two of the biggest boxing areas, Baltimore and Philadelphia and also New York, there is no doubt we were in the right area. So uh, Dover Downs helped us by selling out every time to say Delaware needs another venue for boxing. But what's unique about what I wanted to accomplish with my team and also the fans in Delaware was, was to bring title fights. We're bringing two U.S. titles, sanctioned titles under the WBA, to Wilmington, Delaware, and that's never happened before. To me, that's, that's exciting. Your support and the media and the fans, that's what made my career was the fact that when, when I would do a fight at William Penn High School, I would leave that fight. By that time, I would go to the Resorts International, and I would sell out. That helped me. The, the promoters and TV look for fighters that have a strong fan bases. And it really does start at home. So to be able to get go back to the old fighters, even my own brothers, but Ronnie Branch and Joe Barbizi, we've had legendary fighters, amateurs and pros come through Delaware, and everything started at home. And we don't have that right now. If we don't start it at home, there's no way you can develop a fan base if people don't see you fight. So th this is why it's exciting.